So our church is a part of the United Church of Christ, a uh, national denomination um, that has its roots going back to 1957. Uh, and then that's about the same time frame that our church uh, started here in Fresno uh, back in 57. Henry Hayden was the emeritus pastor, the, the founding pastor, and he was always on the cutting edge of, of, of uh, progressive social justice ministries. And, and uh, he, he, we, back then the church uh, hosted uh, Cesar Chavez in our fellowship hall. He actually spent the night here. Um, wow. Uh, Henry Hayden marched with Martin Luther King uh, when he came through uh, Fresno. And so that was the kind of pastor uh, that founded this church, and the membership reflected that kind of attitude, mm -hmm. too. And Henry used to sit down with uh, new potential members and almost talk them out of joining the church. And he would say, unless you want to be on the cutting edge of uh, uh, justice and peace, uh, then maybe this church isn't for you if you don't want to be on the cutting edge. Mm -hmm. So when I came uh, four years ago, I had to hit the ground running just to catch up with the membership of this church. Mm -hmm. It was definitely this church. I had a choice between uh, Fresno and San Diego. Mm -hmm. I had to I had a congregation in San Diego uh, uh, talking with me, and then I had this. I was talking with this church, and I, I looked at the some of the attractive things about Fresno for me was I know we have a lot of struggles. You know, we were kind of the poster example in the United States for, for struggles, income inequality, uh, uh, employment struggles, uh, quality of air struggles. But what is very attractive to me about Fresno is the, the uh, diversity of Fresno. So we have about 40 different religions in Fresno, depending mm -hmm. on how you, you, know, you, mm -hmm. you, you quantify that. Uh, but, but that creates great diversity. And with 40 or so different religions that correlates with uh, ethnic diversity mm -hmm. and that's very attractive and very pos positive for Fresno and so the opportunity to, to bring my family of six uh, to a, a multicultural, a multi-faith uh, uh, environment that, that Fresno is, yeah. that was attractive okay. and uh, that's fulfilling, very fulfilling. So starting off in my, my first pastorate, I've had three pastorates, my Baptist uh, pastorate, it was an inner city church and we had a lot of inner city needs and a lot of our membership reflected inner city uh, uh, membership. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so naturally I, I became a part of their life negotiating those, those uh, needs in the inner city. And so that was a way, a compelling way for me to open my eyes to experiences that, that I necessarily didn't have to go through in my own life. When I went to the UCC, UCC was definitely more progressive and social justice oriented, more inclusive of the LGBT community. Uh, and so that was another opportunity to see uh, sides of, uh, of, of the world that I wasn't exposed to growing up. And, yeah. and that broadened my horizons, expanded my consciousness, my awareness. Uh, but there was, in particular at, in, in Indiana, there was a, um, a, a power plant that was resurfacing in a, in a middle class to poor neighborhood. Mm -hmm. and, and so I, I, with a folk singer and some neighborhood uh, people, uh, we learned about the issue. We, we became involved and it really was a grassroots effort. And mm -hmm. at the time, I was doing my doctorate work in uh, um, uh, St. Louis, uh, Missouri, Eden. I was reading through Martin Luther King sermons and, and just studying more uh, in depth uh, the organization behind Martin Luther King Jr.'s movement, mm -hmm. civil rights, and, and I found that Martin Luther King, not only did he, he have a pastorate ministry, a preaching ministry, but his, his theology was basically practicing what he preached. So he would go in the community and live out those virtues that he so powerfully preached from the pulpit yeah. or wherever he was speaking. That influenced me in a powerful way. You know, faith and community is, is uh, very attractive to our congregation because they take that mindset of orthopraxy. How do you live out your faith in a positive way in the greater community? Mm -hmm. and, and that's what faith and community is about. What we find is that there are overwhelming concerns of justice and equity. Uh, that we can, it's, it's, it's not a matter of, of politics and, 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 and you know, choosing uh, a partisan position here or a partisan position here. Yeah. What we find is, despite all of our differences of, of faith, of politics, of, of principle, we find some obvious 
uh, examples of injustice and we coalesce together and, and we say, hey, despite our differences, despite our uniqueness, we can agree that this situation here needs to be addressed by all of us mm -hmm. and voicing this together gives us a stronger voice than we have separately. Uh, every day I wake up in Fresno, you know, I, I have moments of gratitude and appreciation and, and awe, uh, but also there is great need. There's not a day that goes by that, that I'm not driven by some greater need uh, yeah. here in Fresno. That's overwhelming and complex, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, but, but these problems, they impact people. And uh, some days, you know, you, 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 uh, you throw your arms up in the air and it's, it's too much. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the poverty here is devastating. Uh, when it impacts children, it's, 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 it, it, it paralyzes your heart, you know. Uh, it, it, and so it's, how do you expose yourself to that kind of reality day after day after day mm -hmm. it, 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 without it doing something to you? So I try to not turn away from that, not ignore it, but let that pain that people are feeling become a part of my pain, become mm -hmm. a part of my life, uh, and then do the hard work of trying to figure it out.